Yehovah Eloheinu Svaod, Kadosh, 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 please fill me and lead me with your Ruach HaKodesh, that I may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yehovah, pay careful attention and respond. Yehovah is our power and authority. Yehovah works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love to Yehovah with your power and authority, with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. Yod, hey, vav, hey. Hand, behold, nail, behold. Joshua chapter 3. Yehoshua got up early in the morning, and they left Shittim, and came to the Yarden, he with all the people of Israel. They camped, before, they camped there before crossing. After three days, the officials circulated throughout the camp and gave the people these orders. When you see the Ark of the Covenant of Jehovah your God and the Kohenim, who are Levi'im, carrying it, you are to leave your position and follow it. But keep a distance between yourselves and it of about a thousand yards. Don't come any closer, so that by, so that you will understand which way to go, because you haven't gone this way before. Yehoshua said to the people, Consecrate yourselves, because tomorrow Yehovah is going to work wonders among you. Then Yehoshua said to the Kohenim, Take the Ark of the Covenant and go on ahead of the people. They took the Ark of the Covenant and went on ahead of the people. Yeho Yehovah said to Yehoshua, Starting today, I will make you great in full view of all Israel, so that they will know that just as I was with Moshe, so I will be with you. Now you are to order the Kohanim, carrying the Ark for the Covenant, as follows. When you come to the edge of the Yarden River, you are to stop in the Yarden itself. Yehoshua said to the people of Israel, Come here and listen to the words of Yehovah your God. Then Yehoshua said, Here is how you are to know that the living God is here with you, and that without fail he will drive out from before you the Kanani, the Hiti, the Hivi, the Prezi, the Gaharshi, the Emery, and the Uvisi. The Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth is going on ahead of you across the Jordan. Now choose yourselves twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, one man for each tribe. As soon as the Kohanim, carrying the Ark of Yehovah, the Lord of all the earth, put the soles of their feet in the water of the Jordan, the water of the Jordan will be cut off upstream and stand piled up like an embankment. So the people left their tents to cross the Jordan with the Kohanim, carrying the Ark of the Covenant ahead of the people. When those carrying the Ark had come to the Jordan, and the Kohanim carrying the Ark had waded into the water, for throughout harvest season the Jordan overflows its banks. The water upstream stood piled up like an embankment for a great distance at Adam, the city next to Satan so that the water flowing downstream toward the Sea of Aravah, the Dead Sea, was completely cut off, and the people crossed over right by Jericho. The Kohanim, carrying the Ark for the Covenant of Yehovah, stood fast on dry ground in the middle of the Yarden, while all Israel crossed on dry ground, until the entire nation had finished, finished crossing the Yarden. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading this awesome third chapter? of Joshua, this miraculous chapter, we can aim to wake up early in the morning. We can listen to the orders given with the, go with the goal of acting on them. Follow the orders of Yehovah. Follow even if you don't understand the way, even if you've never gone down a certain path before. Trust and obey. Dedicate yourself to the purpose of Yehovah. Trust that you have all will work wonders among you. Trust that you have all is with his chosen children who obey his written words. Come and listen to the words of you have all, your Elohim. Trust that you have all wants you to know that he is with you. Trust that you have all goes ahead of you. Aim to be one of the twelve chosen. 
choose to trust and obey by stepping out on faith and cross over into the perfect plan Yehovah has for you. How can we love others? As Yeshua loves us, we can encourage others that Yehovah will work wonders for those who trust and obey in his written word. How can we bear one another's burdens? We can trust and obey and dedicate ourselves to the purpose of Yehovah. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, self-control. We'll end with the Arianic blessing, praying for the peace of Yerushalayim, using the name. Yehovah will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yehovah will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yehovah will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete.